European banking giant Credit Suisse has pleaded guilty to a criminal charge for helping American clients avoid paying taxes by concealing assets in illegal, undeclared bank accounts. Credit Suisse becomes the largest bank to plead guilty to a criminal charge in 20 years. Attorney General Eric Holder announced the plea on Monday. In the course of our painstaking, years-long investigation, the department discovered that Credit Suisse and its subsidiaries engaged in an extensive and a wide-ranging conspiracy to help U.S. taxpayers evade taxes. The bank actively helped its account holders to deceive the IRS by concealing assets and income in illegal, undeclared <coughs> bank accounts. These secret offshore accounts were held in the names of sham entities and foundations. And this conspiracy spanned decades. As part of the plea deal, Credit Suisse will pay about $2.6 billion in penalties and hire an, in an independent monitor. But the bank will not be required to turn over the names of the Americans who use the bank to evade taxes. Under the deal, no senior Credit Suisse executives will face jail time, and the bank will be allowed to continue operating in the United States. According to The New York Times, the Securities and Exchange Commission voted last week to grant Credit Suisse a temporary exemption from a federal law that requires a bank to hand over its investment advisor license in the event of a guilty plea. To talk more about the case, we're joined by James Henry, former chief economist at McKinsey & Company, now a senior advisor to the Tax Justice Network and senior fellow at the Vail Columbia Center on Sustainable International Investment. Welcome to Democracy Now! Uh, yeah. Can you assess this uh, settlement? The well, I think it's a big missed opportunity. You know, this investigation has been going on for four years. Uh, you know, this is one of several Swiss banks that are under investigation. Fourteen were all lined up. Um, and the reason the Swiss uh, stock market, and in, in particular Credit Suisse, is soaring this morning is because they're, they, they are delighted with this deal. They're yodeling through the, uh, the Alps over the, the light touch that Eric Holder, uh, you know, who has a tradition of this. In, in 2000, he was the assistant attorney general who signed off on the Mark Rich uh, pardon. And in this case, you know, 2000 Mark Rich was was the uh, yeah uh, major President Swiss based trader who was violating uh, U.S. regulations and uh, tax evading all over the place at that point. So he was the man that uh, President Clinton pardoned. President Clinton pardoned at that point. He got enormous uh, backlash for that. Um, in this case, we have the second largest Swiss bank, a bank with 45,000 employees and uh, 1.26 trillion Swiss franc uh, 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 of uh, client assets under management. Um, you know, getting away with essentially a fine that amounts to three months of their net earnings. Uh, no senior executives, as you mentioned, are, are going to jail. Uh, Bradley Dugan, the CEO, is expected to stay on, in fact, and he said uh, in front of his shareholders this week that this will have a, a very slight impact on uh, Swiss, Credit Suisse's performance. Um, you know, I think we've missed the opportunity to really uh, uh, send a message here because the way they structured this plea bargain um, was uh, to rule out any uh, impact on Credit Suisse's license to operate in the United States, which was the only impact that a criminal prosecution uh, could have had. And I think going forward, the banks uh, in Switzerland will be looking uh, for new ways, uh, new inventive ways of serving Americans. Hmm. In terms of withholding the names of the clients who hid their money, uh, the argument from Credit Suisse was that, of course, the Swiss law prevents them from, from, from doing that. Uh, it protects their privacy. Does that stand uh, here in the U.S.? And how big of a win for Credit Suisse was that, in that they got to keep the names of those they helped? Oh, it's huge. I mean, this is worse than the UBS uh, settlement in 2009, uh, in which some names were given up. And so, you know, this is part of a negotiation. The Justice Department can say, look, you know, no deal. Um, you want your license, you give us uh, information on these Americans who are